Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, oh yeah, some more rooftop pigeon action. You know me. We finally had success on the last video. First pigeon trapped on the rooftop and it only took two days of the trap being up there. A lot of you guys can imagine when we take, uh, what do we got here today? Let's look, when we take our food up there, yep, see, all that yumminess. When you put that yumminess on a rooftop, these birds go wild. So, um, on the last video I told you guys, I'm gonna be checking this trap twice a day, one in the morning. Right now, it's right at about 10.30 in the morning, so we're gonna check it in the morning, and then we're gonna check it right before they close. I think they close at like 5, 5.30, so anywhere between four and five, we'll check it at the end of the day, reset it, rebait it. The thing is though, once they get to know where the food is in the trap, you don't have to bait it very often. The only time you really have to rebait it and take food up there is if it was really windy and it blew the food all over the place. And uh, that's one thing I'm kind of dreading because I'm eventually going to have a broom up there, a big shot broom, trying to keep it all in a pile once it gets really, really windy. So if you guys have any uh, ideas right now, drop a comment down below. How could I get that food to stay in the trap when it gets really windy? And I don't necessarily want a bull in there. You know what I mean? The structure of a bull, they may not like that. Well, here we are up on the roof. It's right around this corner. You guys know the drill. Do we have anything? Oh, <laughs> look at that, boys. Oh, man. Two more. Two blue bars. How awesome is that? Man, literally, all it's taken, guys, we're three birds in. We've caught three birds. The first one was literally yesterday, a very, very old blue check. And these guys here don't look as old. They look a little younger. I'm going to have to get them out and get them out and take a look here. But if you guys are liking the rooftop pigeon trapping videos, look at it. How awesome is this? Smash that thumbs up button for your boy. Let's get this video well over 2,000 likes in a hurry, shall we? Please, it only takes a second. Oh, oh, glory, guys, glory. Oh, boy, how awesome was that? Man, I didn't expect two to be in here. I guess I better start expecting to catch multiples because if you can, uh, if you can imagine one gets in there, I'm, this isn't like the truck stop where I come and go 20 times a day, you know what I'm saying? Woo, look at that guy there. Check him out. Yeah, he's uh, he's not near as old as the other one, but uh, good looking blue bar there, check him out. Good looking bird. Both of these birds are literally identical. It might be brother and sister or something, or they actually might be mates, who knows? Put him in the bucket. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. There we go, bud. There we go, bud. There we go. Okay. Second bird here, same deal. They look identical. I'm always checking them for bands. Could you imagine how cool it would be if I actually trapped a banded bird? That'd be awesome. But both just regular old blue bars. Awesome, dude. This is uh, ramping up extremely fast, y'all only imagine when winter rolls around and these birds are really needing this food how many we're gonna be trapping in one day every single day because down here this isn't like the truck stop y'all this is a continuous supply of birds now we might be catching the uh, the local birds that are actually living on this rooftop or we might be catching the ones that are across the alley that I'm always showing you flying around and everything because over on that building I'm looking right now and there is still at minimum 100, 150 birds over there. But I'm really afraid that when the winter hits we have some crazy north wind action and it's gonna sweep right along this wall and it's gonna blow our food around. What can I do? What can I build in here? Maybe a little wooden structure, just a frame or something that sits on the ground that will hold my food in place and not let it blow. You know what I'm saying? And something that still looks natural because check it out. To a pigeon, 
just grain on the ground there's nothing that looks more comfortable and natural than that so you guys gonna help me out drop a comment down below let your boy know what should I do just do just roll with it like this that's what I'm gonna do until it becomes a problem I guess but like I said guys continuous supply downtown here so many pigeons downtown I mean so many pigeons I'm gonna zoom in right here let's see if we can see these birds right there right there there are literally probably 200 birds right there pretty easily and that's just one rooftop and this is just one rooftop out of hundreds so you can only imagine this winter is gonna be crazy but we're gonna go uh, take these birds back to the loft uh, that is three birds that we have trapped up here on the rooftop so I think the end of this video we'll probably trap tonight and then by the end of tonight we'll probably be running these birds out to Jordan so stick around to the end of the video we're gonna go uh, dump all of our feral birds that we trapped the last couple days over at Jordan's house like I've been telling y'all he's been building a huge 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 barn loft it's beautiful it's just like the other barn loft of Dustin's that y'all seen that we went to a handful of times just like it so be sure to stick around to the end of the video because it's going to get <laughs> it's going to get more interesting than it already is uh, well I got an idea too I think I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take a little bit of feed this is working and all that's working but I want to I really want all the birds to know that there is food to be had here so we can keep trapping them so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right over here I'm just gonna put a little pile like that just a small pile actually I'm gonna take about half of that first I'm gonna put it right at the doorway check that out see see what I'm doing there BAM 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 building the comfort building them up to get comfortable to just be around the trap hey thanks train well we are back home now as you can tell and I have to stick these two squeakers by the way these are not grown adult birds these are these are very adolescent birds they are squeakers been squeaking in this bucket the entire time they're youngins but I'm gonna put them in the old loft here for a minute just for a little bit until we go check the trap for the last time of the day then we're gonna come back load up the birds from here because now we have three here that we have to take to Jordan's. Hopefully we catch some more this afternoon, but whatever feral pigeons we have, by the end of today, we, meaning me and you guys, are gonna take them all out to Jordan's big barn loft and, uh, and you guys can check it out because it is beautiful. But I'm telling you what, these guys are just squeak, squeak McGee's, let me tell you. Young birds, hear them, hear them. They are squeakers. Whenever I put them in here, I always put them on this little perch. It's a lot easier. There you go, buddy. There's one down. Now for the last one. I'll hear him. Just squeakers. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You didn't even know what you were getting yourself into. <laughs> there they go. Heck yeah. That was a productive morning. Heck yeah. We got three ferals in there. We haven't been trapping any birds since the truck stop shut down. I've been missing it. But the trapping videos are back, y'all. Well, it is now the afternoon, 4.45 to be exact, and uh, we're pulling back up here to the rooftop. I loaded all three birds out of the loft. They're in the kennel in the bed of the truck as we speak. So after we're done here, checking and resetting the trap, we're gonna go over to Jordan's like I promised. We're gonna see his big barn loft. And we're gonna put our three ferals that we got on board in his loft. So, man, we caught two this morning. Be pretty epic if we caught more this afternoon, right? Whew, them, uh, them stairs right there. Telling you what, those get me every time. But well, here we go. Oh, come on girl, open up. There we go. I always like peeking right when I get out here. See if there's any chilling out here. Ooh, nothing. Got two chilling right there. Right there. We got nothing, boys. We got nothing, huh? I am actually quite surprised. Makes me wonder why. 
I guess we'll see though if in the morning we have if we have some in the morning we're gonna know that uh, there's something about this rooftop and they're wanting to feed just just in the morning early morning or it could be after five o'clock when uh, when the business shuts down because as a lot of you know like I've said a bunch I can only come onto the rooftop when the business is open so nothing I'll be darned I'm surprised I was expecting another one or two possibly three well we're gonna have to start uh, doing a little bit heavier baiting it looks like now I need y'all's help now y'all know that we can get up on that rooftop with those extension ladders but it's kind of a pain in the butt by yourself I wouldn't mind doing it maybe if I could get some better extension ladders or just have those up all the time and secured to the wall wouldn't be bad but that's I don't know if I could do that do you guys have any suggestions that I need to do up here? Any at all? What do I need to do with traps? What do, I, what, do I, what do I need to do with bait? Should I put water in the cage? Jordan thinks so. I think so. Maybe a little different bait if y'all can think of anything better than wheat. Maybe I'll just get some bird seed action and maybe putting water in the trap. I don't know if it'll work or not. Well, we are here at Jordan's and uh, he's got the loft going on it's just a little one right now you've been working your butt off though well it's... it needed revamping bad yeah but so this is what he's got he's got one section here all closed off and done but up there yeah gonna be a whole different ball game it'll be big that's gonna be big up yeah. there that's, that's like big. Dustin big <laughs> put 50 <laughs> pairs up there big yeah ball. it'll be fun but we got our three that we've caught. Yeah, check them out. There's two squeakers and there is one decently old check in there. Yeah. Those two though, those two blue bar are just, oh God. They've been squeaking all day. <laughs> beep, beep. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Baby. But here we go. Here we go. Look what he has here. What do you got here, Jordan? These are some old German owls. Old German owl pigeons. Yep. That's wild. They're little, wild. Little chest frill and a little frill on the back of the neck there. Oh yeah, the little puff puff on the back of the neck. They're not perfect by any means, but they're, they're good looking birds. They are good looking birds. Now are they all just black and white like that, pretty much? Um, the ones I have are, I got a couple of checks and then I've got oh, some blacks. But the guy I got them from, he just runs all his colors together. So most likely they can throw reds, yellows, oh, duns. Wow you know bars you know, whatever check them out though right there there's a check and a just a solid black guy there mm -hmm. are those are those both checks uh no the the check there in the middle and then the one right in front of me is a black gotcha so black and a check those are pretty cool looking birds yeah you can <laughs> they're like just leave us alone would you but this is a pretty little deal oh quick handed larry with the grab yeah, they are cool. Cool looking birds. They got that little frilly on the back of their neck. Yeah. Really, doesn't have a good one in the front. They're supposed to have a little bit of ruffle oh, right really? there in the front too. God, they got a stubby little beak. They're like yep. the Rossi of the pigeon. Pretty much. <laughs> but they're cool. I'm always referring pigeon to my waterfowl. You know me. But here we go. We're going to let these guys go in here. Here's uh, the Czech guy. He's a little older. I don't want to stress him out. We're just going to put them down and let them do what they do. There's one and then these little squeakers. They are literally just squeakers. Now go on, buddy. Look, he, he don't even know what to do. Like, Listen to this one. This? He's a squeaker. This oh is goodness, the squeaker. Look how dark his feet still are. Good grief. He just keeps squeaking. He's been squeaking all day. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Go with your... They got... They got to be brother and sister or something. It's got to be. Nest mates. You never yep. know. At least cousins. At least cousins. <laughs> So what I what I think's happening is there's a there's a heck of a little uh, nest and, and roost going on on top of the roof that we're on and uh, and it's in the chimney. There's a chimney. I haven't even told you about this. There's a mm. chimney and they're nesting down in it. You go uh. up there and you can hear them cooing and ooing and praying and doing all kinds of crazy stuff in there. And I'm sure I caught the the babies that they just had this spring. First trip out. Yeah, first <laughs> trip out. Bang. Look at these crazy looking little dudes. Already fighting, just been there for five seconds. <laughs> There's some crazy looking dudes, man. I like them though. I do too, they're neat. But Jordan has a YouTube channel. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah. 
If you guys want to follow his barn extravaganza with the whole pigeon loft, his building, the progression of it, I will link his channel down in the description below. This is actually the first time a camera's been in here. I haven't showed any of this yet. Ooh. There's a lot of people that have been asking about it, but I wanted to get some of the stuff tidied up first. So. Right. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed the rooftop trapping videos. Can't believe I have actually made it happen. Uh, when I started asking these business owners for permission uh, face to face, I was like, either they're going to think I'm crazy or they're really going to like me. One of the two. And just so happened, the roof that we've had success on, our one roof, has been producing three birds down and doing good. It's only going to ramp up the colder it gets, you know, when winter comes around. So if you haven't, you need to subscribe. You get where I was going with that whole spiel. And you need to hit that notification bell down there so it'll notify you when your boy uploads. But thank y'all for being here. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.